Well, hello guys, hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to the Big Fat Psychic channel. I'm so pleased to be reading again for you today. This is a day of short circuit, uh, and so there'll be uh, a, a deep read tomorrow, uh, and maybe uh, Monday, I think, uh, a lot of uh, shorts as well, because we've got an awful lot to uh, get through. Uh, so thank you very much. Please keep emailing them, though, to bigfatpsychic uh, at gmail.com. So just before I start a quickie, uh, I've had a couple of people, uh, you know, uh, email me uh, and say, are you OK? You know, because you've sounded a, a bit down the last month. So I just want to clear it up. Yes. And the only reason I've been upset is because my mum's getting worse, you see, and it's coming to crunch time where we have to, you know, look at the future and other uh, options. And well, it, it's heartbreaking. You know, I have a and the day we're going back, I can't do anything but cry, you know. And I, I can't have a full time, okay? I'll be absolutely up front of that. I can't. It'd break me. It'd break me. Uh, she needs, you know, hair needs her too much. And she's deteriorating. And then the mold's on top. And, you know, uh, it, it'd break me. So, you know, that's all I can say. So what I've decided to do, I've waited a, a month to think about things and calm it down. Because uh, I feel incredibly uh, guilty. You know, I can't get rid of this feeling guilty uh, and the feelings for my mum, you know, uh, the wide open. So I, what I've come to the conclusion is, is that I'll have her for shorter periods, but more regular, you know, uh, and then uh, and I'm doing the best I can uh, by her. But, you know, she's not going to be far off not remembering our names. Um, I mean, she strugg struggles already with my brother. Uh, so, yeah, I just feel like... Uh, well, we'll see. It's uh, it's upsetting. So anyway, I've uh, come to terms with it, and that's my decision. Shorter, uh, but more often, uh, and uh, you know, see how we get on from there, really. But you know, I know many of you have been touched by this as, as well. It's just awful to go through. I mean, I do wonder, you know, if I ever got diagnosed, would I shoot myself? Well, I wouldn't shoot myself, I don't think. But you know, would would I uh, take uh, myself off the uh, planet, or would I? In the early stages, you know, we shout for uh, a bloody cure or something, or even worse still, that I don't want to leave my loved ones, you know. I don't know. It's just hard, isn't it? It's just hard. Jesus. Oh, my God. I don't know. Don't know the answer. Anyway, okay, so I, I've got that out of the way. It's not anything else, okay? <laughs> and I'm glad to see uh, numbers picking back up uh, with the uh, the deep reads coming back. They never went off. I was just so busy, uh, but I've got a lot, uh, a lot more uh, time now. Anyway, come on then. Let's get on with it. So, uh, ooh, uh, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Um, I was going to do that one, but I'll pick a, a different one. So, oh yeah, we'll go with this then. <clears throat> so, um, basically, when Fergie was pregnant with Beatrice, she and Diana <clears throat> went to a psychic, whom Diana greatly respected. They were told that Beatrice would become queen. Uh, please do a reading on that. Uh, thank you. Okay, so I'll be honest with you. When it comes to uh, William being king, uh, oh Charles, <laughs> I don't know. You know, I feel like uh, they, like it's uh, more like political. You know, that would uh, influence it. And I mean, who oh, knows? So, you know, uh, internet changed the world, uh, and we didn't have it twenty two years ago. So is it the fact that? It could be politics or, or indeed, you know, uh, some kind of uh, tragedies in, in the, the family. So let's have a look then, OK? First of all, I want to know, um, I don't know who the psychic is, OK? I mean, we're not always right. God, can you imagine being under that pressure? <laughs> Reading for royalty. Oh, I tell you, it wouldn't be worth it. It just wouldn't be worth it. Or I'd say... I'll tell you what, I'll do it for nothing uh, and take it with a, a pinch of salt <laughs> or a grain of sand. Anyway, OK, so uh, did Fergie uh, and uh, Diana go see... Oh, I'll just give them a, a, a shuffle. Did they go see uh, a psychic together? So I'm not asking about the question. I'm asking, did uh, Fergie and Diana go for a joint consultation uh, or 
you know, both. Yeah, that's right. So, uh, yeah, uh, when Feggy was pregnant, did her and Diana go and visit a psychic? Oh, yes, they did. Oh, yes, they did. Oh, yes, they did. Uh, you know what? I think uh, so. This is where I get that it was something was promised. Okay, something was promised. Um, so that could be that predicted, okay, in this case, uh, predicted. So yes, I did, and there's the two of them there. Uh, quite good pals, actually, you know, at that time. I don't know where it, if anything happened before or after, but I'll see at that time, you know, they had quite a bond uh, to, together. I think Diana found uh, Fergie uh, fun, <laughs> you know, and she did, yeah, she did. She absolutely uh, did. She found Fergie uh, two of cups there. Uh, she found Fergie uh, fun and like a rule breaker, you know, but Fergie sometimes wasn't doing it intentionally and I think that's uh, the funniest moment uh, came from that where she didn't, uh, you know, try and uh, be funny. So yeah, I think uh, it's just some of the things she does. Like me, uh, when I think I'm funny, you'll think I'm funny on different parts and I think I'm funny in a certain part, you know, uh, my husband tells me that. So yeah, they did, okay. So did the psychic predict uh, Beatrice would be queen one day? Another positive card, another, yes. Yes, she did. Oh my God, yes, she did. I think this has come up uh, before uh, as well. So I'm getting a yes here, the past into the future. It's all about the promises of prediction. Uh, and this is, you know, uh, in the past predicting the future so yes she did uh, predict it she did it was predicted uh, Beatrice would be queen do you know what well, right if it came to the worst and the worst and the worst I like Beatrice I do I think she's very cottagey I think she's I mean of course we can you know uh, I just think she comes across lovely dainty you know um I kind of feel like special in a way, you know, special um, and nice, but also as well, like very wise, okay, I've got very wise and what I was thinking then was she can, uh, she, she knows where to draw a line, okay, so she it does take after the Queen uh, in that level of uh, thought process, okay, so she's very calm, uh, non-reacting, not like her, you know, her, her sister, uh, Eugenie. Okay then, okay, right, are we there, are we there? Okay, uh, so will Beatrice, you know, will the prediction about Beatrice uh, becoming queen, will it become true? Ah... Uh. No, it goes to somebody else. It goes to somebody uh, else, okay? Uh, so it's a no, she will But, you know, maybe at the time, I mean, who, who knows who in the, the line of six succession has changed and new babies coming in, you know. Uh, nothing is set in stone, you know. But more likely, if you continue as things are now, okay, so no, no changes, like having new babies coming in uh, and then... Uh, you know, Harry with his free will, uh, you know, I, I just feel like uh, it's a no, it's a no darling, it's a no, it's a no, but you know, I think, uh, I'll tell you what, uh, I don't know though, uh, I think Beatrice will find at a cost uh, to Eugenie, okay, I just feel like Eugenie is going to do something um, and it, it's not right, it's not the right thing to do, it's not professional, okay, so uh, it's not in keeping uh, with the royal uh, rules and I think that could uh, create a, a distance over time uh, but a very wide uh, difference uh, to Eugenie and people do grow apart sometimes, you know, uh, I mean we've got two twins on here, they're champions, uh, champion sisters, uh, you know, and they're always sending me like a are you been on holiday yet, Gail? <laughs> but anyway, they're always, uh, you know, uh, on a cruise or something and they just look like they're uh, loving life. I don't see this for you, Jeannie or Beatrice, unfortunately. Uh, I think they go uh, separate ways and separate paths. 
Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed that. I certainly have. That was cool, that one, not it? Oh, I'm loving it. Loving it. Okay. So, anyway, I'll be back soon with another uh, speed reading, guys. <laughs> Keep them coming in. We love these questions, don't we? Okay. Bye now. Bye-bye.